you know, I was on the way to uh, go well, come pick up my son and um, I was listening to Jacqueline Carr, You Will Win. And I just felt, you know, the, the presence of the Holy Spirit come over me and just just to to let God's people know that, you know, regardless of what things have been looking like for, you know, the past year, couple months or even the past couple days, you will win. You will win because you are a winner in Christ, right? So the Bible says that he will never let the righteous be forsaken. So just because things look dismal right now, it doesn't feel like God hears you. It doesn't feel like any of your prayers are being answered or you don't feel the presence of God. You know, don't be defeated. Don't be defeated. You know, don't let the enemy win and trick you out of your position of authority in the kingdom of God. God wanted me to let you know that to seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you. Matthew 6, 33. Just remember to be obedient and, and maybe God is trying to teach you something. Maybe a new season has begun for you and God is trying to teach you something. So, you know, don't delay it. I'll tell you this, just kind of coming out of a storm and out of a season, um, obedience, patience, and, and truth are going to be your best friends. Obedience, patience, and truth are going to be your best friends. Make sure you get in your word. Stay in your word because that's how God is going to talk to you the most. If you want to hear the voice of God, get in the word of God. And the, the spirit will bear witness with your conscience as is written in the Bible. So we got to know that, that we're not alone. We are not defeated and that we will win. You will win. I'm not going to say that, that you know, you're going to win tomorrow or today or anything like that. But your victory is in Christ. And he hasn't lost a battle yet. So I just want to say, you know, go with grace and peace. Uh, go with mercy with people. Um, check your attitude. Check your attitude. And, um, you know, you will win in a season where it doesn't look like you will win. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not into your own understanding. In all of your ways, acknowledge him. And he will direct your path. You know, it's one thing to help people with just... Uh, menial words and like worldly things, you know, to motivate people. And it's another thing to help people with scripture and with the word of God, because that's the truth. And that's the, that's the way that we are going to break yokes and break bonds and, and, and break chains is with the word of God. I'm going to start a series soon um, here on my TikTok uh, about spiritual warfare and how we can use the word um, to to win in the spirit. It's probably going to be on a lot on uh, Ephesians and the book of Corinthians. So if you stay with this video thus far, make sure you follow me, uh, you know, and I don't know if TikTok does like notification bells for people. I'm sure it probably does. But if so, if you follow me, you'll get the series. You'll get to see what I'm talking about. And it's all going to be spirit led. So um, I pray that everyone has a blessed day. Just remember, you will win. Have a good one.